All right, Coach, first introduce yourself, and we'll get started. Donnie Tyndall, Southern Miss. Coach, talk about getting experience uh, to be at Southern Miss this year as a head, football, uh, head uh, men's basketball coach. Well, it's an exciting challenge. Obviously, I'm replacing a coach that had great success last year coming off a 25-win season and NCAA tournament berth, so big shoes to fill uh, with only four returning players in the program. Uh, it's been a challenge in regard to meshing the returning guys with a whole a uh, whole group of newcomers, and um, but I'm excited. I'm excited about the opportunity. I feel like obviously Conference USA is a great league with a lot of great coaches and players, and uh, and feel like we have a big challenge ahead of us this season with a very inexperienced team. But looking forward to it. Practice starts next uh, this later this week. What and during during workouts, drills, individuals, who has stood out first as a freshman? as an upperclassman? Well, I think a couple upperclassmen. Uh, Jonathan Mills uh, has lost about 13 pounds since we took the program over. His body looks great. He's in the best condition of his life. I feel like uh, he certainly won't be the most talented post player in our league, but feel like he could be one of the most efficient post players in our league. Uh, Neil Watson's gained about six pounds in the off season, has improved and increased his strength in the weight room. Uh, obviously, he's an all-conference caliber guard. The most surprising upperclassman uh, in a positive way has been Richard McGill. Richard is a guy who was a role player last season. I feel like he'll be a major contributor this year. He does a lot of different things. Not anything great, but a lot of different things good. And uh, newcomer wise, uh, one freshman I feel like can have an impact as a, as a freshman on our team is Norville Carey. He's a 6'7 power forward. He's a very good athlete. And then we've added a couple of junior college guys we think will help our program as well. And Gerald Brooks, a two guard, and Davion Boardingham, a 6'7 front line guy. Talk about the schedule. Our schedule is very, very challenging. You know, we only have three home games in our first 13. We go to places like Georgia, uh, Arizona, New Mexico State, Louisiana Tech. Uh, Wichita State, those are just our road games, and then we have some very good teams coming to our place in Western Kentucky and Denver. So our schedule is probably a little bit more than maybe we should have uh, bid off this, this early with such a youthful team. But on the flip side, I feel like those type of games will prepare us for Conference USA play. How familiar are you with uh, CSA basketball. You know, I'm I'm fairly familiar. I mean, certainly you know that it's a very well coached league. There's great leagues and uh, great coaches in this league from top to bottom. Uh, there's a lot of good players and good talent. When you look across the roster, there's probably six to eight guys that'll be in the NBA over the next four years uh, from different teams in our league. So when you have great coaches and great players, certainly it makes for great teams. And I think. Uh, the league I'm coming from, the Ohio Valley Conference, was a great mid-major league, and this league uh, is a high-major league. With uh, uh, and it's a daunting challenge or task for us with such a youthful team again. But uh, I know how good our, this league is and how good we're going to have to be to be competitive. What's the balance on this this year's squad? Is it more so uh, freshmen, underclassmen, uh, upperclassmen? There, there's a nice mix because we signed uh, three junior college players. Uh, we return. Uh, Who are they? Because uh, yeah. not at school it started. You can, you sure, can speak about it. Sure. Them. Gerald Brooks uh, is a junior college transfer. Davion Boardingham. Uh, I forgot to mention, actually, we have four. Um, Jeff Simmons and Mike Craig are all junior college players. And then we've added a couple good freshmen in Norville, Kerry, and Dion Edwin. And then we return. Neil Watson, who's a junior, three good seniors in Mills, uh, Richard McGill, who we talked about, and then uh, another junior, Cedric Jenkins, who played about 15 minutes a game last year, and Dwayne Davis is a senior who hasn't played yet. He redshirted last year and has one year left to play. So we've got a nice mix of, of underclassmen and, and upperclassmen. I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked Coach. What's going on at Southern Miss? Well, I think it's an exciting time. You know, we have a new football coach uh, who's played a, a very challenging schedule with, a, with, a, with, like us, an inexperienced team or a youthful team. 
Coach Joy, we're, we're excited about her team. I think she's got some people coming off injuries and, and going to have a great season. Uh, most importantly for me, we have a new athletic director that gave me my opportunity at Southern Miss. I'm very, very thankful that he's now our full-time AD and he's going to do some tremendous things. So there's a lot of positives going on at our school. I'm excited to be part of it and uh, looking forward to the upcoming season. Well, Coach, introduce yourself, reintroduce yourself rather, and we'll close out. All right, Donnie Tyndall, Southern Miss. This is Jerry Lee Willard Jr. with the King Size View College Sports Report.